this awesome recipe called ice cream bread. It's like, it's like a life hack recipe and it's two ingredients, ice cream and self-rising flour. Um, I don't have self-rising flour, so I'm going to make some of my own so that'll be a little more than two ingredients, but you get the point. I actually posted this recipe on Life Hacks, the subreddit, and it blew up, and a bunch of people reported back after they tried it and said it totally worked, so I'm excited to try it out. Um, so I have some ice cream here, cookie dough ice cream, and I'm going to turn this into bread, and hopefully the stuff on the inside, the cookie dough pieces on the inside, it's a little wet because I've been melting it, will turn into like little cookie pieces inside of the bread. If you are one of the very few people, the elite few, who know that this is not my first baking tutorial on YouTube, what's up? <laughs> For those of you that have never seen my other baking tutorial, ask someone who has. Okay, so this recipe calls for uh, two cups of ice cream. I do hope that the uh, kids outside playing aren't too loud. So now that we got our uh, two cups of ice cream, we're gonna do one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. self-rising flour and we need to add um, see, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So what you gotta do is just mix this up, so keep mixing. Now I do have a stand mixer. I got a KitchenAid, but I thought that that would probably make some annoying sounds, so I'm gonna try this out. Flowery. I'm not sure if I should trust the recipe or I should put a little bit more ice cream.
see how that works out. So I'm gonna go step aside in and grease down a loaf pan. Now I'm just gonna put the loaf or the batter into the pan. So my oven is preheated to about 350. Um, I'm going to throw it in there for 40 minutes or so and then check on it. So when I come back, hopefully we'll have a beautiful loaf that we can check out. Okay, so it's out of the oven now. I let it cool for a bit. I'm not sure how it's going to be. It, it seems a bit kind of crumbly, like a coffee cake. Um, and I'm not sure if it's going to stay together, but we'll see. I'm going to go get a cutting board and cut the piece off. We'll try it out. That's pretty decent, actually. It's not very sweet, which is surprising. It tastes pretty much like a standard bread. It's a little cakey because it's um, it's like a little thick, but it's very good. I would, I would even put like, like if this top was wasn't just flour, if it was like cinnamon sugar, this would be like a legit coffee cake. of cookie dough inside taste really good too. Definitely a success. Here's one of those little cookie dough, cookie dough morsels. Yeah, this is really good. I'll probably eat this for breakfast for a couple days. It's not a big loaf, it's pretty thin, but it's just because of the pan that I used and the amount that I put in there. I might make a bigger batch next time, but I would definitely make this again. Alright guys, try it out. Let me know how it worked for you. <laughs>